A Melbourne court has ordered a far-right activist to return his uniform to his former employer, transport company Toll, which claims he is costing them business. Neil Erickson was sacked by the company two years ago but has been captured on video wearing the Toll uniform during controversial incidents including when he ambushed Senator Sam Dasgerai in a Melbourne pub. Lawyers for Toll lodged an urgent injunction in the Federal Circuit Court to force Mr. Erickson to return the uniform and stop damaging the company's image. The court heard on Thursday the company had sent Mr. Erickson a letter last month demanding he return the uniform after the incident involving Senator Das Gerai. Barrister Martin Garrett told the hearing that despite assurances he would return it, he had instead begun lending it to a friend and fellow far-right activist, Ricky Turner. On Tuesday, that man was pictured on the front page of the Herald Sun newspaper wearing the toll shirt as he raised his fist at a left-wing activist during a clash outside the venue where controversial British commentator Milo Yiapoulos was speaking. Mr Garrett said it appeared they believed wearing the uniform gave them a higher profile. Mr Erickson was fired from the company in 2015, after not showing up to work for three weeks, while he was facing court of stalking charges. The court heard Mr. Erickson worked for the company in Tasmania for a further two months earlier this year, after lying on a job application by saying he did not have any criminal convictions. Mr. Garrett said Mr. Erickson was sacked when the company became aware. The court was told Mr. Erickson's behavior appeared to be escalating. Mr. Garrett said some of Toll's customers had written to the company to complain about Mr. Erickson, believing he was still an employee. The court heard one had told the company it would pull $45,000 of its business, explaining they had used toll for 18 years but cannot condone a business that harbors racists. Judge Suzanne Jones ordered Mr. Erickson to return his uniform within seven days and stop causing damage to the company. The activist did not appear in court at the hearing despite being notified of the urgent legal action on Wednesday. It was told he responded to an email at 1 a.m. on the day of the hearing, informing Toll's lawyers he would not be coming as he had not had time to engage a lawyer.